The Cap X 2020 power line could dramatically change the landscape of La Crescent and surrounding areas. But opponents of the plan say too few people know anything about it. I spent the, uh, three nights this week uh, going through door knocking in La Crescent and um, asking people to sign a petition and giving them information. But the first thing out of my mouth is, how do you feel about the proposed power line? And 100% of these people have said, what power line? La Crescent resident Jeremy Chips is alarmed that so many people were not made aware of the plan. We just need to do th the right thing, the democratic process of informing people, which is what is supposed to occur when a super freeway of power 15 stories high is going through our area on both sides of the river. La Crescent residents say the power lines would come up over this hill and go across the marsh, ending up in La Crosse. Homeowners say the 170 feet structures would destroy the natural beauty of the area. They're monstrosities. They're huge. And it'll affect my property value. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe my home is a blessing to me. And I'm standing in faith that this won't be allowed to happen. But it's not just La Crescent's landscape that could be affected by these high voltage power lines. This is obviously on Alaska in this right here. In this pathway, uh, Holman. Some worry the power lines will harm natural habitats for animals and the electromagnetic fields given off by the power lines could harm humans. Neurological damage potentially. Um, there's uh, genetic effects potentially, childhood leukemia, adult brain tumors. Those are just a few of the things that uh, high electromagnetic fields can cause. Public hearings for the proposal are over. Now, if the public wants to put in their two cents, they have to write the judge before August 22nd. Right now, we're at if it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. After August 22nd, if the judge says, hey, nobody seems to mind in La Crosse and La Crescent all around, then at that point, we're going from not if, but exactly where. In La Crescent, Sarah Allen, News 19.